In this video, I'm going to talk to you about integrating Azure Active Directory with public SaaS applications. In short, this video will cover two main sections. The first one is the main issue about using public cloud applications and how to handle authentication, where Azure Active Directory can be a really interesting help. And then talking more about Azure Access Panel, which is the end user interface for authenticating against those public cloud applications. Let me start with some of the issues and challenges we have by using public cloud applications. Public SaaS applications are becoming more and more popular at enterprises. For a lot of enterprises, it's even the default way of using applications nowadays. Each SaaS application has by default a different username, user account and password, which means that every user has to remember different user accounts, different passwords, or worst case from a security perspective, they're always reusing the same username and password, actually opening up a security leak. From another angle, it's becoming a mix between work and private accounts, like logging on to Dropbox and storing corporate data on uh, Dropbox, even authenticating with your personal Hotmail Outlook.com account, for example. Now thinking about an enterprise user, they are using on average 15 accounts on a day-to-day -day basis to authenticate against those multiple cloud applications. Which overall, as a wrap-up for this challenge, means that enterprises need a single sign-on solution. And that's where Azure Active Directory comes in play. Azure Active Directory integrates with common SaaS applications like Dropbox, SAP, DocuSign, Office 365, and a lot of other ones. Azure Active Directory provides you single sign-on experience, which basically means it's reusing your one single user account out of Azure Active Directory for <coughs> authenticating against those public cloud applications. Azure Active Directory today allows integration with about 4,000 public SaaS applications. It also provides you unified reporting of the application access, giving you a list as an admin, as an admin, giving you the list of which end user authenticates to which public cloud application. And out of Azure AD, it also provides you centralized user management, application access provisioning that I will talk about later on and showing you a demo. From an end user perspective, it's all centralized around the Azure Access Panel, as it's called. Connecting to the Azure Access Panel is possible from browsing to myapps.microsoft.com, which works on all browsers and all mobile devices. And if you don't really like the myapps.microsoft.com, obviously you can create a public DNS CNAME alias like myportal.company.com, which redirects to myapps.microsoft.com. Or in meantime, if you also have an Office 365 subscription enabled for your users, you can connect to Office 365 portal first, like connecting to Outlook Exchange Online, and from there on browsing to your different public SaaS applications that integrate with your Azure AD environment. So this Azure Access Panel is a centralized portal where all your individual user activated SaaS applications are available. I've been talking about public SaaS applications quite some time, but it also allows you an integration with in-house developed web applications. Besides that, it also integrates with your Azure Active Directory features that I covered in the previous video, like multi-factor authentication, password resets, and group management. And again, it works cross-browser, cross-platform. So just a screenshot as an example that we'll recognize in the demo. Azure Access Panel gives you access to SaaS applications. It also gives you self-service group management, allowing Azure AD users to invite themselves to become member of groups. And then if you want in between configuring an approval step from a manager, for example, Profiling updates like resetting your password is possible, changing your address, phone number, those uh, kind of data. And then group management approval if you're the admin of the group as well. Which brings me to another demo showing you how to configure Azure Active Directory to integrate with public SaaS applications. In the second demo on Azure Active Directory, 
I want to show you how easy it is to integrate with SaaS applications. So from my Azure Classic portal, manage.windowsazure.com, I select my Azure AD tenant and go to my applications. From here, I can add a new application and I'm going for the second option, add an application from the gallery, which points me to the list of public SaaS applications. And from here, I'm taking Facebook as an example. So with this first part, what I'm doing is creating an integration between Azure Active Directory and Facebook as a cloud SaaS application. This should only take a couple of seconds. And once my Facebook app has been linked, there we go. It's already configured for single sign-on. In the second step, I assign this application to my users. From my list of Azure Active Directory users, I can select a single user or multiple ones and assigning the application. The interesting part here is where I can enter my application credentials. So what I'm going to do here is enter custom credentials. From another user, now this could be um, a marketing department, like a more generic account. I'm going to wait till the configuration is done. There we go. And next to that, I'm going to log in with that specific user account. Now I talked about multi-factor authentication and company branding in the introduction of this module. And you will see it in action immediately as well. So I'm connecting to myapps.microsoft.com. And first, it will ask me for my Azure Active Directory user account. So I'm entering my user account and you will check my password. Now, the first thing you will notice is multi-factor authentication. And in background, you can also see that I did some company branding. So I enter my Azure Directory username and password. And as you can see, it's asking me for additional verification. Where I even have the option to use a text message calling me on my mobile phone. And this is the mobile phone of the user or using the Azure authentication app. So I'm going to use my text pin code. Within a couple of seconds, I'm receiving the pin code. And after signing in, I got all my apps published. So from here, I can redirect to custom applications, Delta Airlines, a public SaaS application. And for this one, I'm going to use Facebook. The end user logged on with Azure AD credentials. And as you can see, he's reusing my corporate entered credentials that I used before. So this is an easy demo on using Azure Active Directory integration with SaaS applications, multi-factor authentication, and company branding. So with that, I would like to invite you for the other upcoming video, Azure Application Proxy.